What's up, here is Dr. Z. We just got into, sorry about this. We just got into Houston, Texas. So it's, uh, we, we flew in, got a bunch of stuff I need to do here for the move to Utah. So we're gonna be hustling all day long, packing, getting stuff, it's crazy stuff. So you'll kind of see that. And then uh, tomorrow, you know, I'll be working at the office and Saturday I'll be working at the office as well as doing the Zeno experience. That's that $7,500 per office program where it's probably the most in-depth thing an office could ever go to. And it literally will shift the lives of the, the practice and the doctors and the people that work for them. And so it all comes down to mindset. So these are uh, what I did is just whether it be my life or studying, and that's what I do. I read a lot of books on people and I read between the lines. Why were they successful? Why did they do great? Why are they legends? Why are they icons? Why does some, why, is, why do we still, why is people still wearing Michael Jordan sneakers today? It's like the guy's been retired. I thrive in that environment. I get to see my team that I miss. I get to see my patients that uh, I love and enjoy that I built a relationship with. And you know, this is just part of the transition. So we're home in the Houston house, so it's for sale. It's, it's yours, cash deal only. Uh, yeah, so it's all laid out, ready to go. So it's kind of big shellish to come here because you don't want to cook, you don't want to do anything, you want to keep it clean, so. Um, but it's great, you know, we built this house and we love it and uh, someone else will really enjoy it. It's got everything I need. Got that, got that, got that. All right, man. Chip that over, we'll put our video equipment in first. So I don't think this will fit like three crates. I think we'll get like two crates in. Maybe a third one sideways, we'll see. Okay, so what we're doing right now, my, every time I, I've known my wife, we've been married 13 years, so every time I drive, well, at least in the last 10, Whitney was always like, babe, you can't see. I'm like, no, I can see. And I was just kind of in denial for it. So uh, it really officially got to the point where at night I need the glasses because I have to get my driver's license renewed and I know they're gonna give me the eye test and I just knew I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass it. So they give me some glasses. My Clark Kent. All right. Are you wearing contacts or anything right no, now? No, no. Okay, so you know, throw them on. It should be clear, but yeah. you feel a little weird. No, super clear, yeah. Yeah. Like your depth perception might feel a little off, but. Yeah, it feels closer. Yes. Yeah, but definitely clear. Yeah, I could read that. I could read. Like, I, I can't read that guy with the thing over there. Have you worn glasses before? No, it's the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, this will really make a big difference during TV watching and nighttime driving. Yeah. Um, awesome. Um, do they feel okay? Like, yeah, I feel great. No, I feel good. Okay, I'm actually sure okay, <laughs> And you're good to go. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you. You're Thank welcome. you. Yes, sir. Oh, I can actually see. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> like everything's so clear. <laughs> like, you know, everything's so uh, clear. Like you don't realize it. Well, that's kind of really, that, that's really kind of thing like with health, right? If you think about health, no one realizes that you don't get heart disease and cancer overnight, right? It's slowly, it's gradual. Disease is slow. It's gradual, you don't realize it. And really disease in anything, in health, right? So you don't feel the cancer growing, you don't feel the heart disease clogging uh, the arteries till it's 99%. And the next thing, let's go to marriage. Like you don't see, you don't feel the marriage. The marriage just doesn't end overnight. It's a disease process. It's things you don't see, you don't feel. That's why if you base your, your life and your future on your senses, you're gonna totally miss out. I mean, everything in life, uh, all the bad stuff, everybody thinks you're gonna feel it. It's, it's the things you don't feel. It's the things that you don't see or you're aware of. So that's why you gotta constantly be rechecking, knowing the score at, at, all the time, and going from there. So wearing these glasses, you know, the fact that I could see like that American flag, like two blocks away and I could see it where it was blurry. So I lived slowly over time. It got a little bit blurry, a little bit blurry, a little bit blurry, but I said, I, you know, I just dealt with it. But realize you don't realize how far off you were until you put on the corrective lenses and see, holy shit, I, I was uh, somewhat blind. <laughs> so this is really cool. It's high de everything looks high definition, just like this video. And uh, super stoked, super happy. I could see, I could see you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you to the mall and you could go into the Apple store and then I'll get on that call, cool? All right, team, so I'm uh, gonna go get some oxygen tanks filled for my ozone machine. Check it out, I'm not gonna go over it here, but if you check out online, ozone therapy, I, I, use, I utilize that every day just for myself as well. It's huge, so I'm gonna bring that to Houston. So we gotta get some oxygen tanks and, clear, and evidently, like oxygen is almost like contraband. So I gotta, you know, I gotta show my license, my, my chiropractic license. So I don't know, was that tough to get oxygen? Because I guess people, what do people do? They like burn crystal meth and make stuff like that, right? All right, good, so we got uh, another question text of the day. There's a doc here who emailed me. I have the opportunity to move, move my practice much closer to my home, which is something that I think I've always wanted, but it would essentially mean starting over. It would also mean moving my practice from the city to a small town. How do I know if it's right? I told him this, the fact that he took the time to reach out to me and ask that question, if he should, you know what that means? He should. See, we do that as human beings because we're so afraid to make the wrong decision, right? So we'll ask people, do you think I should leave this town? Do you think I should? Well, if you're asking me if you should think you should leave the town, yeah, you do. And you want to get the approval of others to make you feel better about that decision, right? So the brain knows what you could lose, which is scarcity, but your spirit knows what you could gain. It totally rocks. So, um, Doc, I know you'll get this text. You'll definitely need to do it. And just and now, I need to keep you accountable. So I want you to email me. I want you to keep in contact with me. And then I'll make sure when you have the, that, uh, that scarcity moment, I'll tell you, go for your dream. baby.